हॅलो एव्हरी वन आय आरती कोठावदे लेक्चर ऑफ बुक एपिक अँड अकाउंटन्सी वुड लाईक टू एक्सप्लेन यू इन डिटेल अकाउंट्स ऑफ नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट कन्सर्न आय हॅव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड द मिनिंग फीचर्स ऑफ नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट कन्सर्न इन माय प्रिवियस व्हिडिओ नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट कन्सर्न आर दोज कन्सर्न विच आर स्टार्टेड नॉट टू अर्न द प्रॉफिट बट टू रेंडर द सर्व्हिसेस टू द मेंबर्स ऑर द सोसायटी now we have to prepare the financial statements such as the receipts and payments account income and expenditure account as well as the balance sheet before going to that we should know the types of receipt types of payments meaning and specimen of receipt and payments account meaning and feature of income and expenditure account and specimen of income and expenditure account now types of the receipts see there are two types of receipts one is capital receipt and the other is the revenue receipt the capital receipts are those receipts which are non recurring in nature and those not forming a part of regular flow of income for example specific donations for building sports tournament library life membership fee sales proceeds of fixed assets capital receipts are either added to capital fund or we can show separately on the liability side of the balance sheet second is the revenue receipt all such receipts are the recurring in nature and represent regular flow of income of a concern which are known as the revenue receipt for example subscription rent locker rent interest issue discount issue etc See here, receipts are given. Then there are two. There are two types of receipts: revenue and capital. Then under the revenue, income and expenditure account means that revenue expenditure or the revenue receipts will go to the income and expenditure account, and the capital receipts will go to the balance sheet side. Now we will see the types of payments. There are two types of payments: capital expenditure and the revenue expenditure. Actually, there is one more deferred revenue expenditure. See, capital expenditure. These expenditures are non-recurring in nature. The benefits of such expenditure are likely to be received for a long period of time, and these expenses are shown on the asset side of the balance sheet. and their balances are carried forward to next accounting period see example the purchase of land furniture machinery means these are purchased for a long period of time and we are getting the benefit also for a long period of time then second is the revenue expenditure which are recurring in nature and the benefit of these expenses are enjoyed immediately that is for a short period of time in a current year examples salaries taxes insurance premium etc and the third is very important that the deferred revenue expenditure this is actually a revenue expenditure and this is incurred for receiving benefits for more than a year advertisement expenditure paid rupees 30000 is for 3 years we will see the examples and in such case 1/3 of 30000 is rupees 10000 is for current year then whatever we incurred expenditure for the current year that only we have to debit to the income and expenditure account and the remaining 2/3 that is rupees 20000 expenditure should be shown on asset side of balance sheet then we will see the meaning of receipts and payments account see the day to day transactions of a not for profit concern are recorded in a cash book we have already learned the cash book in our 11th standard receipts and payments side in the same way here also we have to post the account at the end of the financial period the cash book and ledger accounts are balanced 
and from this balance is receipts and payments account is prepared. See our base is clear that from the cash book and the ledger accounts, we have to prepare the receipts and payments account. The receipts and payment account is a real account. Credit transactions are not recorded in the receipts and payment account. Receipts and payment account is the summary of cash and bank transactions for a particular period and all receipts are shown to the debit side and all payments are shown to the credit side. That is why it is, uh, it is a real account debit what comes in and credit what goes out. This account starts with opening cash and bank balance, different banks and closes with the cash and bank balance at the end of the year. See, now we will see the specimen of receipts and payments account. In the books of receipts and payments account for the year ended 31st March 2020. See here on the left hand side DR means debit and on the right hand side CR means credit. Then receipts account, amount rupees, amount rupees. By mistake it is written receipts again. Here it is payment side, amount rupees and the amount rupees. Now, as I already told you that our receipts and payments account starts with the balances, means to balance brought on cash at hand, cash at bank and here we have to write down the name of the banks. Then, whatever the subscriptions we received, that has to be debit in the receipt side. Then, it is not only for the current year but also for the previous year, next year, if it is received, then we all have to debit to the receipt side. Then whatever entrance fees we are receiving, that also we have to debit. See the admission fees are there, life membership fees, legacies, government grants, if it is received, then uh, if the donations are received, that also we have to debit to the receipt side. Speci uh, donations for specific fund, building fund, price fund, tournament fund. If dividend is received, that also we have to debit to the receipt side. Then higher rent of hall received, sundry income, sale of old material, sale of old newspapers, miscellaneous receipts, tournament receipts, cricket fees, tuition fees, term fees, locker rent, exam fees. Means what you were we are receiving the amount that we have to debit to the receipt account. Then if you will see the payment side, see by balance brought on if the bank account shows the bank overdraft, then we have to show to the credit side. Then by salaries paid, if it is paid for the previous year, that also we have to show. Then rent rates and taxes. Printing and stationery paid, general expenses paid, interest on bank loan paid, electricity charges paid, audit fees paid, tournament expenses paid, wages, purchase of sports material, insurance, telephone, mobile expenses, bank charges, postage, conveyance, expenses for annual function. Whatever the expenses we are paying, that we have to credit to the payment side. And then, at the end of this year, we will see the balances that is the cash in hand and the cash at bank. Now, we will see the meaning of income and expenditure account. This is the main part. Income and expenditure account is the summary of revenue income and the revenue expenses of a particular period. It is similar to profit and loss account. It is a nominal account that is debit all expenses and losses, credit all income set gains. Not for profit concerns, prepare income and expenditure account. All revenue expenses, losses of current year are debited and all revenue income gains of current year are credited to this account. Incomes in income and expenditure account, 
revenue incomes or gains of the current period are credited. For example, subscriptions received, interest on investment received, Sunday receipts, general donations received, tuition fees received, etc. etc. Incomes received for previous year or for next year are not taken into this account. However, all incomes pertaining to current year, whether received during the previous year for this year are taken into consider. consideration. On the other hand, outstanding incomes and previous incomes of current year are considered. Now, expenditures, only revenue expenses, losses of current year are debited to this account. Items of expenses of not-for-profit concern may differ from concern to concern. Expenses paid for previous year or for the next year are not taken into account. However, all expenses pertaining to current year, whether actually paid or not paid during the previous year or current year, are taken into account. In other words, outstanding expenses and prepared expenses during the previous year are also considered. Now, we will see the features of income and expenditure account. It is very short given. Income and expenditure account is a nominal account. This account records only revenue expenses and income of the current year only. It is similar to profit and loss account. It is prepared to find out surplus, that is excess of income over expenditure or deficit that is excess of expenditure over income. Income and expenditure account is always accompanied with the balance sheet. It has no opening balance. Surplus or deficit is transferred to capital fund. And it records all cash items as well as non-cash items which are related to current period. For example, salaries paid, outstanding salary, bad days, depreciation on fixed assets, etc. Now, again the main part is the income and expenditure account specimen. See here, students all have to remember that as it is a nominal account, debit all expenses and credit all incomes and gains. So, we have to write down expenditure on the debit side and incomes on the credit side. See here, we have draw the columns, six columns are there expenditure, amount rupees, amount rupees, income, amount rupees and the amount rupees. Now, whatever the expenditures are incurred during the current year, that only we have to debit. This you remember. Now, we will see one by one. To salary is paid. If it is paid for the last year, if it includes, then we have to deduct from that amount and if we if the outstanding means payable that we have to add. Then, to wages paid for the current year, printing and stationery, rent, interest, conveyance, rent set taxes, insurance premium, audit fees, office expenses, mobile charges, all these expenses are paid, then we are have to debit to the income and expenditure account. Then, this is one of the most important sports material consumed during the year. If we have to find out how much the consumption done, then we have to write down this formula, opening stock, add purchases, then less closing stock and whatever the balances we are getting, that is the sports material consumed during the year. Then repairs and maintenance paid, electricity charges paid, newspapers and periodicals, uh, purchased then means we have to we have made the payment for that then sundry expenses and if we sell the assets and if we will get the loss that also we have to debit depreciation on fixed assets all these are expenses we have to debit and if we will see the income side by subscriptions received less received for the last year received for the next year and add this to during the last year for current year and the outstanding for the current year. This is formula we have to just remember because we know whatever the income earned during the year means during the current year 
that only we have to credit and that is why if it is added for the last year or the second next year then we have to deduct from that then rent received interest dividend government grants the ground rent sundry receipts entrance receipts admission fees entrance fees donations profit and sale of assets debt all these are received all these are the income and that is why we are credited to the income side now main important part when the income side is more and expenses are less then whatever the difference we are getting on the debit side that is nothing but the surplus and that is why it is called as excess of income over expenditure means agar income side jyada hai to hame kya milta hai surplus and if the expenditure is less sorry and if the expenditure is more than the income then we get the deficit and that is why it is called as excess of expenditure over income now the student we have already learned the final accounts of sole trading concern partnership there we get the net profit but here whatever we are gave getting the difference on the debit side it is nothing but the surplus and there we get the net loss so instead of that we can write it the deficit that is the excess of expenditure over income in our income and expenditure account i hope you must have understood all these things thank you very much in the next lecture we will see the next part